When many of us think of the ketogenic diet, we typically think of its role in weight loss. However, a ketogenic diet also has many health benefits that improve metabolic, cardiovascular, and neurological well-being. Dr. Dominic Diagostino is a neuroscientist and ketone researcher who has spent over a decade investigating the wider health benefits of the ketogenic diet. In this video, he discusses some of the benefits observed in his research. When you transition someone to a ketogenic diet, uh, you want to look at, you know, the glucose levels will typically come down and what you'll really decrease is the glucose spikes, the postprandial glucose spikes. So that's a good thing. Hemoglobin A1C usually comes down. Uh, triglycerides paradoxically usually come down very significantly. My triglycerides went down from like uh, 90, I think, I believe when I started, you know, experimenting with the ketogenic diet. Now, Last time, I think there were 42 or something like that, my triglycerides. So, uh, and we see this across the board in our patients too. Even if they maintain a stable weight, we see that transition from a, so it's not a weight depend. A lot of things are dependent upon a weight loss. Like everything improves if you lose weight, right? Uh, so the real test for a diet is that if you clamp the weight, so to speak, <laughs> or look at patients where the weight does not change, for example, like they don't have weight to lose, but you know, they're, they're part of the study. Uh, we see their triglycerides come down. Uh, so th that's a very good sign. In mice and rats, when you just feed them standard rodent chow, which is like optimal, like, you know, it's got all the, got fiber, it's got like the perfect carbohydrates and everything. If you just feed that, these mice and rats over time, their livers get fat. They start to get fatty fatty liver disease, and uh, and they also get cancers too. And, you know, a ketogenic diet can suppress the spontaneous uh, cancers. So like mice and rats, they don't get cardiovascular disease. You know, the, the things that kill us are cardiovascular disease, cancer, and dementia, right? If you let mice and rats live their whole life, they, 80% of them die of cancer. And, you know, and I, by improving metabolic function and mitochondrial health, you can suppress spontaneous tumor formations. So uh, it's some of this early work, you know, that was done using calorie restriction, but later with ketogenic diets actually steered us into, you know, targeting metabolic health uh, as a means to not only, you know, treat cancer, but also to prevent cancer. It's the only diet that we know of that actually can fundamentally change uh, your, it is magical in that way. It can fundamentally change your brain neurochemistry and neuropharmacology. So as a neuroscientist, that's what drew me to the diet. And now some of the emerging applications are for psychiatric disorders. So that would include, uh, under that umbrella, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, uh, ADHD, and things like that. So uh, the Bazucki Brain Research Foundation is actually now funding millions of dollars in research. It actually takes a foundation like that to step up <laughs> and start funding projects. And they were they donated to to our project to look at the psychiatric, uh, the psychological markers, you know, that that we're measuring and and supporting a lot of research at top tier universities at Harvard and Stanford. And uh, and once this gets published, then federal organizations like the National Institutes of Health will start supporting the dietary interventions for the management of psychiatric disorders, which is underrepresented. But a lot of great research is being done now on that. The findings from research by scientists such as Dr. Diagostino have demonstrated that the ketogenic diet has several health benefits. These include a reduction in blood glucose levels, and importantly, the blood sugar spikes that can occur directly after meals. This can lead to further benefits such as a reduction in blood insulin levels. Chronically high levels of insulin can lead to excessive weight gain and serious health problems like heart disease and cancer. It's also been observed that haemoglobin A1c is typically reduced. This is a form of haemoglobin that has been chemically bound to a sugar and indicates the presence of excessive sugar in the bloodstream and is associated with an increased risk of diabetes. Another important marker is blood triglyceride levels. Even though a ketogenic diet is higher in fat, 
triglyceride levels typically come down quite significantly on a ketogenic diet, thus reducing your risk for heart disease and stroke. By improving metabolic function and mitochondrial health, a ketogenic diet has also been shown to reduce your risk of fatty liver disease and some cancers. The ketogenic diet can also change your brain neurochemistry, helping to improve mood and cognition. It can also reduce neuroinflammation, thus leading to its consideration for a range of psychiatric conditions including depression and anxiety.